What is the effective number of parties? It's a way of counting parties that recognises that parties have different sizes. Here's an example. In the 2021 Norwegian election, 10 parties won seats in the legislature. But these parties were very different sizes. The largest party, the Labour Party, won 48 seats. The smallest party, Patient Focus, just one seat. Now we could say that Norway has a 10-party system, but it seems strange to count Patient Focus in the same way as the Labour Party. The effective number of parties gives us a single number that summarises these seat shares. To calculate the effective number, we take each party's share of seats, we square it, we add up all these squared shares and divide one by this number. We can express this as a formula. Here, the big character that looks like an M turned on its side is the summation operator. It just means add up. And the little s stands for the seat share of each party. Here's how that works for Norway. We take each party's share of seats, we square it, we then add up all these squared shares and divide one by this number. This allows us to say that in 2021, Norway had an effective number of seat winning parties of just over five. The effective number of parties can be calculated for seat winning parties or for vote winning parties. When you calculate the effective number of seat winning parties, you use each party's share of total seats. And when you calculate the effective number of vote winning parties, you use each party's share of total votes. Now, it might seem strange to talk about Norway having just over five effective parties. One way to think about the effective number is how many equally sized parties would be in a system. For example, if there were just two parties with seat shares of 50%, the effective number would be two. If there are three parties, each with seat shares of one third, the effective number would be three and so on. In other words, the effective number of parties allows us to be more precise about party systems rather than just describing most of them as multi-party systems.